Hello everyone, in this short video I show you how you can create a histogram with ggplot2. So let's look at the basic example. So we use the ggplot function to define the data and also the axis. And for a histogram we just need to define an x-axis we want to use. And then we add geom histogram first without parameter in here. And when we run that, we get this histogram. When we want to define the number of bins of the histogram, we just can define it within here. So for example, I want to have 30 bins, then we get this kind of plot. But when we only want to get 10 bins, we get only 10 bins within the histogram. We can also add another dimension which would be the class of a car and we want them in different colors. So here we define the color as class. So now when we run that we see here other information about the class of the car and now we see within the histogram how much of the proportion within each bin is which class. And now when we want to change the color of the bins, so now we have it gray and we want to fill them white, we can just define it within the histogram function. When we run that, you can see we have now white bins. Now when we also want to plot the mean within the data, we can add a geom v line. So we just need to define, we want to get an x-intercept with the mean of our x variable, which gets us a vertical line here. Basically, we have here one histogram of all the classes and we just put the data on each other so we get one histogram. But now we want to get different histograms based on the class and we want to overlay them. So we use the ggplot function with the same arguments and here within the ggplot histogram we define the position equals identity and alpha equals 0.2. This is just the density of the color we want to have. So when we run that we get this new histogram and as you can see here we have for each class we have one histogram and now they are overlapped. And now when we want to add a title and also the axis labels so we can use the ggplot title for the title and we can use xlab and ylab to rename the dimensions. Okay then we run it and as you can see here we have now a title and a y label and an x label so people understand the variables within the plot. And now we want to change the position of the title and the legend so we want the position of the title here centered and also we want to have the legend on the bottom. For that we just need to add the theme and here we define the legend position as bottom and the title of the plot h adjust equals 0.5 is just we want it in the middle. And now we have this final plot which we can export as image or also as PDF. Please subscribe for more content. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.